this should literally be illegal. Output just came out with the crazy new update for their plugin arcade that's literally setting the bar for what's possible with plugins in the industry. You could already pretty much do everything inside this plugin, and now they just added the missing little last piece of the puzzle that solidifies this as one of the best plugins of all times. So let's jump in and take a look at these features. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of all the stuff that I love about this plugin, but first let's talk about the brand new features. So the big one is these new note kits that they have right here. So you may be used to their sampler kits, and you play them and maybe it does a line of notes or a certain orchestration of that instrument, but now you can actually do no kits where you can play out full chords in different notes of one instrument in particular. So for instance, let's click on this one right here. And as you can see on the bottom right here, you have the full spectrum of notes available to you. So you can write full chords, melodies, and anything you want using these. And let me tell you, they have tons of instruments and things for you to use. If we go over here to the search menu and we go under no kits, you can see that there's 982 instruments. That's literally 982 different instruments that you can load up and use in here. And the cool part is you can download them one by one. So you don't have to download all of them. And then, you know, there's a bunch of them that you don't use and all this stuff. No, you can literally go through, sample the ones you like, and then just flip through the different ones that you have in your account. And their instruments are actually really fire. So I went ahead and just laid down some basic notes here. And I have a shadow flute loaded up from the drip set, the drip line. And if we take a look at this MIDI, you can see I did something very, very simple. I just copied one up an octave. So actually, if we take this right here, boom, I just copied this up one more time into an octave. So very, very basic thing here. And it sounds absolutely amazing. Now let's go ahead and turn on that other octave too. Gives you more frequency, fills up the vibe a little bit more. And the other thing that I love about this is you have the built-in effects and you can add or get rid of as much as you would like. So we have some obvious reverb here. So if we wanna add some reverb, we can go ahead and turn that up. We have an echo effect, a spread, which is how much width it's gonna have, and some shadow. And each one's gonna have some different effects that you can go ahead and adjust. But literally, it gets a super advanced. That is nothing. You can go into this tweak section right here, and you can literally even create your own patches. Yeah, you can go through here and pick the different samples and waveforms that are being used here. And as you can see, there's even more than this. So you have 982 instruments or whatever it was, but now you have all of these options of making way more. So you can go in here, make your own patches, you can go ahead and change the envelopes. You can get pretty decent with this for the sound design. It's not bad at all. We're not gonna go through everything you can do because I would be here literally all day. But you have a mixer. You have some modulation things you can work on. Some macros. This is really cool. So if you wanna modulate different things in your actual project, you can do that using the macro assignments, which I've actually used already. And you can even make arpeggiators if you want to get into that by adding different sequences for the notes and how they act. So a couple ways you can get to these. You can either go to the lines page right here, click on them, and then you'll see there's a new tab for the note kits right here. And this is how you can go and start previewing them all. You can also go by search right here and you can click on the note kits and go like that. One other thing I love about this plugin is you can literally search for the kind of thing that you're looking for and find it there. And then you can obviously go through the home tab and you can see some of the more popular ones and things like that and get another view here as well. I'll give you a little demo of some of the things. So obviously you heard these bells. I also went ahead and made some simple little chords that I used right here. And this was actually sort of like a pad slash piano that does some arpeggiating as well. So this one that I was using is called the Acid Keys right here. I, it just sounds, it sounds really great. And I use those same exact notes on this one. This is more of like a pad sort of a sound. It's called Soft Serve and um, it sounds pretty good as well. Let's hear it. So I literally cooked up this melody in just a couple minutes. It's nothing crazy and this is what it's sounding like right now. Decent. So those are some of the new features that Arcade has to offer and we're going to take a look at some of the other stuff because I've been using the sample kits in a certain way that I haven't seen many people use and it, it really lets you take full advantage of all the features. It's freaking amazing. 
But really quick, if you want, you can also get a 30-day free trial of Arcade so you can start using it yourself. Go ahead and go into the description below. I left a link for you. That's actually my affiliate link. So if you want to try it out for free, even if you quit in 30 days, that's fine. That link is actually going to help out the channel. It gives us a little kickback, so I'd appreciate it very, very much. Let's check this out because I went absolutely crazy on this, and I don't know if anybody else is doing it like I am. Guys, one thing I forgot to mention is that Output said that they're updating this thing like every single week. So they're coming out with new sounds all the time. And actually, when you're searching for the new sounds, it actually you can sort them by the newest or the oldest one. So you can always see what's new and what's happening. This is like their flagship product right now, and it's freaking amazing. All right, guys, so this one's called Critical. This is one of the sample kits. Before, we were talking about the note kits where you can play different notes, but this is one of the sample ones. Um, this is an older feature, kind of what started this brand for them. So I want to show you guys how I broke this down because it's absolutely crazy. So this one's called Critical. And I just made a very basic melody in here. And I love how quick you can come up with these ideas. But let's take a quick listen to this. So the cool thing about Arcade is you can actually pick which key it's going to be in. So I picked a B minor for this one. And I wanted to add two different kits together. So I also picked a B minor for that one. And I used more of like a vocal kit. And for this one, I used this Chronicle from Distant Voices. Man, this Distant Voices pack has so much good stuff. But as you can see, B minor in here as well. So we used that. And actually, before I forget, did you know you can go up and down octaves in here too? So it's not just picking this, but you can actually pick which octave it is in. And I, by, I believe for the other one, I actually went up an octave. Let's check. Yes, I went up an octave. So this one's for the actual instruments. So I kept the vocals down at the normal octave that they're at, and I lifted this one up an octave. I thought that was really awesome that they added that. So let's take a listen to what this Vox is starting to sound like as well. We'll listen to everything together. Does that not sound amazing? Oh my god, when I started putting that together, and let me tell you, I put that together really quick because RK just lets you do things so fast. I put that together so fast and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a freaking hit. Now how can I take this one step further? So what I actually did is I left the Vox how it was, but I took these plugins, or I took these instruments right here, and I layered them all out individually. So let me show you really quick. So I took that instrument and I duplicated it a bunch of different times and then I freeze and flattened them. And as you can see, I was able to take that and, and separate each one of those instruments that was playing. And from here, I could affect them differently. If I wanted to add a little more reverb here, I could do that. If I wanted to put one up an octave or down an octave, you could do that as well. And you just have so much more freedom and control over it. Another thing is I was able to set the different volume levels because that's not an option when you have it in that mode so guys when you do it like this you can literally separate it out into the tracks and do whatever you want and this melody en ended up coming out absolutely crazy i have to have you guys take a quick listen to this check this out absolutely crazy man i couldn't believe that it came up with literally a melody that fast this should literally be illegal so if melodies is something that you struggle with or you want to get better at or step up your game you really need to get this plug in and start messing with it because it's absolutely crazy how have i not gotten this plug in earlier that's what i want to know and like i said before guys there is a free month trial with this and if you use the link below that is my affiliate link so i'll get some sort of a little kickback from it so go ahead and use that link if you want to try out this amazing plugin you're gonna want to try it if you haven't yet this thing goes absolutely insane so we went over the plugin but one thing we didn't go over is the fundamentals of making melodies like you see here so if you want to learn how to make melodies and you want to make sure that you have all the basic fundamentals in place you're going to want to check out this video right here so that you're not missing anything so go ahead and check that one out next if you'd like 
And besides that, guys, I'm going to be catching you again in the next one. Peace out, gang.